Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we've been looking at straight line graphs. In the first one, we looked at gradient. In this particular video, we're going to look at y equals mx plus c, which is the way that we describe the equation of a straight line. Hope that's okay for you. If you're not sure about anything, always add something in the comments. I'll come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, so this is video two in the playlist where we're looking at straight line graphs. In the previous video, we completed through to question number nine. So from this uh, video, we're going to start from question number 10 onwards. Please do follow the link below in the description, download the worksheet, follow along, have a go at the questions and compare your solutions. Okay, let's move on to question number 10. Now in this particular one, we've got a slightly different type of question where we're looking at finding the equation of a straight line with gradient of three passing through the point one five. Okay, well, um, the standard form for the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, now you might know that slightly differently, but essentially what we're looking at is m is the gradient, which we're told is 3, and c is what's called the y-intercept. So if I plot this line, um, if it goes through something like that, okay, this point here is going to be this value of c, it's the constant. Okay, so in order to find that constant, what we do is we take the coordinates and we plug them straight into this formula. So I can write this formula as 5 equals, now the gradient we're told is 3, and the value of x is going to be 1. Okay, so we can use all of the information we've got plus c, and therefore I've got 5 equals 3 plus c minus 3 from both sides, and I get c equals 2. Okay, so now I can finally write this full equation as going to be equal to y equals 3x plus 2. So 3 is the gradient that we're told, and 2 is the value of c that we've just worked out. Okay, hopefully that's all right for you. Have a go at question number 11. It's pretty much the same, really, where we're going to be working out the constant. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to write the equation again, y equals mx plus c, or the, the general form, rather. The gradient is going to be equal to 4, which we're told the value of y is 3. So 3 equals 4 times 1 plus c, so 3 equals 4 plus c, so c is going to equal to minus 1 if I'm minus 4 from both sides. And bearing in mind, this is the value of y that I've got from here, and this is the value of x that I've got from here. Okay, so now I can write the full equation of the line out as y equals 4x minus 1. Okay, so 4 is the gradient that we're already told, and minus 1 is the c-intercept. Okay, hopefully that's all right for you. Let's have a go at question number 12, which is uh, involving a negative sign, but it shouldn't really phase you too much. Well, all we're going to do is apply exactly the same thing, y equals mx plus c. We're told the gradient this time is minus 2, and we're told the value of y is 3, and the value of x is, plus, uh, is minus 2 as well. So I've got 3 equals minus 2 times minus 2 plus C. OK, and bear in mind, we're trying to work out the value of C. OK, so I've got 3 equals minus times a minus is a positive, so that's going to be 4 plus C, minus 4 from both sides, and I get minus 1 equals C. So therefore, I can write my equation as Y equals minus 2X minus 1, and that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, hopefully that's all right for you. So we're going to move on then to uh, the final part of this video, which is slightly trickier again, or slightly different again. But in this particular case now, we've been given the value of two of the coordinates that the line passes through. So it passes through 1, 4 and passes through 4, 10. But that allows us then to work out the gradient of the line. And then simply, as we've done before, we take the gradient of the line, these coordinates, and we work out the value of C. So basically, the process is trying to find y equals mx plus C. The first thing we're going to do is work out the gradient. And if you remember from the previous video, the gradient is going to be y2 minus y1 one divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, let's have a look and see how that happens. Well, I've got my value of y2 is 10 and y1 is 4, so that's going to equal 10 
minus 4 divided by x2 is 4 and x1 is 1. So therefore, that's going to give me a gradient of 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. All right, so now I've got my value of m, which is going to be 2. So therefore, I can write this as y equals 2x plus c. OK, now I've got a choice. I can either use this pair of coordinates or this pair of coordinates. Frankly, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same result, whichever ones you use. I'm going to choose just to use the smaller numbers. OK, in other words, when y is 4, x is going to be equal to 1. OK, so there's y and there's my value of x. So therefore, I've got 4 equals 2 plus c minus 2 from both sides and c equals 2. OK, so therefore I've now got my value of the gradient, which is 2, which I worked out here. And I've got my value of c, which is the uh, y-intercept, which I've got here. So therefore I can write now my full equation as y equals 2x plus 2. And that's the answer to that particular question. OK, let's have a look at number 14 and 15, which are the two final questions on this particular worksheet. Again, please do download them, have a go at these questions because um, they follow much the same sort of pattern. We're looking for y equals mx plus c, but the first thing we do is we need the gradient. The gradient, we're going to use these coordinates. So we're going to use y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and that's going to equal 5 minus 2 divided by 12 minus 6. So that's going to give me 3 over 6. So therefore, the gradient of this particular line is going to be a half. OK, so therefore I can use this value of a half now in this general form. And again, I'm just going to use the, the smaller values. You don't have to. Maybe if you wanted to stop the video and have a go at using the larger values, um, you could uh, compare and make sure that you get the same answer as, as I'm going to hopefully here. So I'm going to write this as y equals a half x plus c. And I'm going to plug in my small values, which are going to be the value of y is 2. So 2 equals a half times times 6 plus c. OK, so that's 2 equals 3 plus c. Take away 3 from both sides and c equals minus 1. So now I've got my value of my gradient, which is a half, my value of my c intercept, which is minus 1. So therefore, I can write that as y equals a half x minus 1. And that's the answer to the Question number 14. OK, question number 15, treat it exactly the same way. However, it is uh, slightly different because it's got a few negative numbers that we need to just be wary of. But we're going to treat it in the same way. We're still going to find y equals mx plus c. And again, I do try to encourage you, always do the same process each time. And if you can, try to sort of pay a little bit of attention to the layout on the page as well, just so it makes it much easier for the examiner to mark it. OK, so let's think about these coordinates. Well, this is going to be y2 and this is going to be y1. So if we put those into the equation at the top here, I'm going to get 7 minus, and be careful here, minus 5. OK, because I've got my y2 is going to be minus 5 here. So just be careful about that. OK, x2, well, that's going to be minus 3 and then 1 over here. So that's going to be minus 3 minus 1. So when we look at all of that, we end up with two, plus, uh, two minuses together make a plus. So that's going to be positive 12. Divided by minus 3 minus 1 is negative 4. OK, so um, 12 divided by negative 4 is going to give us a gradient of negative 3. OK, let's put that then into this particular uh, formula or, or standard form. We're going to have it as y equals minus 3x plus c. And again, just because I do, I tend to choose the lower values just because they're easier for me. So I've got minus 5 equals minus 3 multiplied by 1 plus c. OK, bearing in mind this is 1 here and this is minus 5 here. And as I mentioned before, you could do exactly the same process with this and it will still give you the same result. So minus 5 equals minus 3 plus C. I'm going to add 
three to both sides, and that's going to give me minus two equals C. So therefore, I can write this out as my gradient is minus three X, and my Y in and my C intercept is going to be minus two. And that is the answer to that particular question. And that's the end of the video. Um, I hope it's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.